Hi, my name is Brianna Slatnik. I'm a Surgical Innovation Fellow and General Surgery Resident at Boston Children's Hospital. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to make your own reusable elastomeric respirator for use during the COVID-19 viral pandemic. The items you will need include an anesthesia face mask, preferably one that has this hook ring on it, and also one that has a valve to inflate and deflate the cushion. You will also need a ventilator inline bacterial and viral filter. For this demonstration, we're using the Teleflex main flow bacterial viral filter. However, there are many others that exist that you may have at your hospital. Lastly, we're using two elastic straps that we remove from a nebulizer mask. You can use any elastic straps that you can find. Start with your anesthesia face mask. We recommend using the same size mask as your N95 fit test to ensure an adequate seal. Remove the detachable plastic piece ringed hook. We will use this to attach the straps. Take one of your elastic straps and tie the end to any of the plastic prongs. Now tie the other side of the elastic strap to the adjacent prong. Attach the second strap to the other two prongs in a similar fashion. You now have two straps attached, one for the lower part of your head under your ears and a second for the top part above your ears. Tuck each strap into the middle of the ring and pull through to secure. Now place the ring back onto your mask. Orient the ring such that one strap is on the top and one on the bottom. Now attach the small end of your filter to the open end of the mask and secure in tightly. Before you begin, make sure your hair is tied back. Perform hand hygiene. Loop the top strap over the filter so that both straps hang down together. Cup your hands around the cushion of the mask and bring to your face. Pull both straps down and up over the filter onto your head. Now adjust the bottom strap such that it is positioned under your ears. Adjust the upper strap so that it fits comfortably above your ears. Now adjust the mask on your face and chin to assure a tight seal. It is helpful to pull the cushion out onto your face. You will now perform a user seal test. Perform a negative pressure test by placing your hand over the end of the mask, covering the inlet, and inhale. Make sure while doing this you are not adding additional force onto the mask. If the mask has a good seal around your face, you should not be able to inhale. Now perform a positive pressure test. Again, place your hand over the inlet and now exhale. Check to make sure that no air escapes around your nose or chin. If you feel any air escaping around the face mask, remove the mask and adjust the amount of air in the cushion and or adjust the straps. Remove your reusable elastomeric respirator, avoiding touching the front of the mask. Tilt your head forward. Grasp the bottom elastic with both hands and pull up and over your head. Then with two hands, grasp the top elastic and pull up and over your head away from your face. Perform hand hygiene. Examine your mask after removing for signs of contamination. Contamination includes use during aerosol generating procedures, blood, respiratory or nasal secretions, or other bodily fluids, visible condensation inside of your mask. Disassemble the face mask portion from the filter. Wipe down all surfaces of your face mask and straps. Alternatively, you may wash in the sink with soap and water. Then wipe down the external plastic portion of the filter. Avoid getting the filter wet. Let both pieces dry completely before reusing. We recommend storing in a clearly labeled thin paper bag in a safe, clean location. Your filter needs to be changed when it becomes difficult to breathe comfortably. This will vary from person to person. Also change filters if it becomes dirty or physical damage occurs. It may be advantageous to have more than one filter per healthcare provider so that while one filter is drying, the other can be used. Change the face mask portion if it cracks, breaks, becomes brittle, or if there are any signs of leakage. Straps can be replaced after concerning exposure or when showing signs of wear.